from the Mercy One Studio. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now is also underwritten by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Welcome to Catholic Women Now. I'm Julie Nelson. We're delighted that you're joining us today, whether you are here with us live, the rebroadcast at 9 p.m. tonight, or our podcast, which you can find on the Iowa Catholic Radio app. Hi, Chris. Good morning. I'm Chris Magruder, and happy anniversary of the First Holy Mass and Holy Eucharist. Yes, Holy Thursday, yes, Institution of the Eucharist and the Priesthood. Yes, yes yeah. So, yeah, you can read up on that. It's uh, it's out there. I was reading, doing some research this morning on it because I was reading about it and the Magnificat praying yeah. the prayers. And uh, it's beautiful to mm-hmm. think about that. And I think also this year we're all just l- l- even Excited more. Excited to be going through it physically. Yes. And, you know, you know, I was just reading something that was so beautifully said is God, the, the God brings um, graces from the difficulties that we have. Mm-hmm. And I'm just really praying that we all receive these incredible graces this year from the difficulties we've been to mm-hmm. through last year. Mm-hmm. Since last year, we could not... Yeah. Um, participate together in Mass. So, so uh, listeners, put your hands out. Receive those graces that That's Julie's right. been praying for well, you. <laughs> we're both praying. We always pray for our listeners well, here do. at Iowa Catholic Radio. You are why we are here. It's not because Chris and I want to have to have a microphone by any means at all. It's God, has, <laughs> God has called us forth, and we are humbly serving him. Yes. You know, this morning I woke up, and I don't get to do this very often because I normally try to go to Mass in the morning, but I did a little exercise, and I actually got to watch, um, I don't, actually, I don't know what it was. I was watching EWTN, and Jesus actually was going through his passion. He was carrying his cross, oh, and, yeah. then, and then, you know, I, I got to watch long enough to see him be crucified, and, and his mother and John coming up, and, you know, Jesus saying, Mother, you know, this is your son, son. This is, you know the verse. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of mother, let's, let's start with the prayer yes, today. Yes, let's do that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And speaking of passion and suffering, our guest today is Susan Tassoni. She's, she's a frequent guest here, frequent flyer here on Catholic <laughs> Woman Now. We just love her. She's the, no, also known as the Purgatory Lady. And she has got a new book uh, out, Praying with Jesus and Faustina during Lent and in Times of Suffering. So we are having her on today to help us to get our minds and our hearts um, set upon the passion of Christ and his suffering to enter into that. Maybe she will help us to enter that in a more profound way through the diary and writings of St. Faustina. And what does what does that do? I mean, you know, I was listening to Teresa Tamio earlier. The whole idea of suffering, you know, inside the Catholic Church, we look at it a little bit differently than people outside the Catholic mm-hmm. Church. The power of suffering and, and how we can attach our suffering to Jesus. So, right. You know, we, we actually can give him consolation. Mm-hmm. By offering our mm-hmm. suffering to him. Yeah, you know, so many times people, you know, they don't want to suffer alone. How many times are you suffering going, woe is me, I wish someone was here with me and yeah. understood my plight. You we, know, Jesus doesn't say that, but at the same time, doesn't that bring him comfort when we offer our sufferings mm-hmm. with him on the cross? Yes, it's such a beautiful, deeper union with them and intimacy mm-hmm. to come into that with him. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Uh, and be, be invited into that and to receive it and to accept it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Cindy Schulte of Farm Bureau Financial Services for underwriting Catholic women now. Cindy can be found on the web at cindyschulte.com or by calling 515-226-2111. This is Catholic Women Now broadcasting from the Mercy One studio. We'll be back after this short break with our guest today, Susan Tassoni. Hi, this is Joe Stopulus. Thank you to construction professionals for underwriting Man Up. Monday mornings at 9 on Iowa Catholic Radio. Construction professionals, a Catholic family business built on a strong foundation. cpcustomhomes.com. There are millions of children that go hungry every day. Thank you to Skeffington's Formalware for supporting Mary's Meals. Their vision is that every child in the world should be able to receive at least one good meal every day in a place of education. Mary'sMealsUSA.org Thank you, Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, for underwriting Catholic Women Now. As an authorized independent agent, Cindy's team can provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. Cindy Schulte at 1315 50th Street in West Des Moines, 
or on the web at cindyschulte.com, 515-226-2111. Cindy and her team know health insurance. Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa is an independent licensee of the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association. Products available at Farm Bureau Financial Services. The Catholic Foundation of Southwest Iowa is looking for a director of development. Learn more at catholicfoundationiowa.org slash careers or contact Eileen Valdez, 515-237-5085. catholicfoundationiowa.org slash careers. Thank you, Golden Rule Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, for sponsoring my show. John Lee and Eddie in the Morning on Iowa Catholic Radio. Golden Rule, servicing Des Moines for over 15 years. They obey the rules to live by, especially the Golden Rule. Online at goldenrulephc.com. Thank you, Ashworth Vision Clinic, for underwriting Dowling Catholic Sports 365 on Iowa Catholic Radio. Ashworth Vision Clinic online at ashworthvision.com. Ashworth Vision Clinic, 515-440-4610. Thanks to Blessman International for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Every year, Blessman International leads teams of Central Iowans to share the compassionate heart of Christ with orphans and vulnerable children in South Africa. You can learn more and sign up for a trip at blessmaninternational.org. Well, welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio. Where today our guest is Susan Tassoni. She's been a frequent guest on our show. We just are so delighted with Susan. She has been a long, passionate champion for the holy souls in purgatory and is recognized as a leading worldwide purgatory movement. Um, she's a w- award-winning author of numerous books, I think over 17, but she'll tell us when she, when she joins us here. She is a frequent and popular guest on national radio and television programs, as well as social media. And in 2013, she was featured in the groundbreaking documentary, Purgatory, the Forgotten Church, and was on the cover of Catholic Digest in 2017. Susan holds a master's degree in religious education from Loyola University, Chicago, and had the honor and privilege of being granted two private audiences with John Paul II, St. John Paul II, who bestowed a special blessing on her and her ministry for the Holy Souls. Susan joins us today to talk us about her latest book, Praying with Jesus and Faustina During Lent and in Times of Suffering. Welcome, Susan! Holy Thursday greetings, women, Catholic women of Iowa. Chris, good morning. Chris, are you there? And Julie. I am. Good yes. morning. It's so fun to have good. you back. Good morning. It's great. A beautiful day to do this on a on, on Holy Thursday. You know where we celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, the source and summit of our faith. So. What an honor. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's fun to have you. You're the perfect person to be here with us today. So we're going to jump right in here, Susan. There are a lot of devotionals out there for Lent. Tell us a little bit, tell our listeners a little bit about what makes your book different from other devotionals during Lent. It's so exciting to to share this uh, because I just learned that the book is, we just, the book just came out in in March and they've already sold over 9,000 copies. So that tells you that people want to, you know, delve into um, a, a devotion that's dedicated to Jesus' passion and how, how he suffered and what he shared with Faustina. And that was that's the focus. It comes from his words, Jesus' words, and Faustina, which make it really special, because I also make sure it addresses uh, the sufferings and the times, you know, that we experience and how she identified with that. So you really can't find a contemporary book that has that combination because Jesus told Faustina many things about his passion, and I wanted to capture his words about his sorrows and his death that he spoke to Faustina and to us. And, and, and until today, he speaks to us today. And then there's a, a, you know, I just didn't want to narrow the book to Lent, because we're already, you know, we're into um, the Triduum starting today. Um, and so I ha- the titles also a- I added, In Times of Suffering. Because, you know, that's the, we, that's the most ancient question. Why do we have to suffer? What's the purpose of suffering? Is there any value in suffering? So this book was perfect because um, Faustina had the best teacher. He, Jesus told her how to handle suffering, and I wanted to pass that down uh, to everyone. He shared with her the value of suffering, how your daily work can be transformed into a sacrifice for peace in your heart, peace in your families, peace in the world, and of course, as always, even for your deceased loved ones. And he said to her and to us, join your little sufferings, he called little sufferings, to my sorrowful passion, so they may have infinite value before my majesty. He said, 
the smallest sacrifice finds great value in my eyes. Faustina said, um, she, you know, because, so the, it has great value and it has its intercessory power, your sufferings, because Faustina said, I saw that my suffering in prayer shackled Satan and snatched many souls um, from his clutches. And I thought, my gosh, what an image, shackling and snatching from his clutches. So it's, it's you and me that can snap on the shackles and snatch others from Satan. It's you who have the power by offering up your sufferings and your prayers to save countless souls. Well, that mm. kind of answers this question about how this benefits others, then. We can ben- help others through this. How does it benefit? Um, how does the book benefit others? Yes. Yeah, it, 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 absolutely, because, um, she, in fact, Faustina shared uh, the benefits uh, she received when she meditated on Jesus' suffering. She said, when I meditate upon the passion of Jesus, I get a clear understanding of many things I couldn't comprehend before. And then she went on and said, he who wants to learn humility should reflect upon the passion of Jesus. And then she said again, when I began to immerse myself in the divine passion, the great worth of the human soul and the great evil of sin was revealed to her. And she went on and said, Jesus gave me to know the sufferings he experienced, and that the world will learn about them on the day of judgment. Um, and so the fruit of meditating on the passion, you know, in Mother Angelica, I remember her saying this, it, it, it does a couple of things. It, it leads to greater self-sacrifice, it sanctifies us, and it also makes us become more compassionate. So it's a great benefit to others. I feel like you took the words right out of my mouth because you were saying it does this, it does this, and I'm thinking it really makes you more compassionate. And you said, and it makes you more compassionate. So you're reading my yes. mind, at least from my own experience, Susan. Can exactly. You- uh, Mother Angelica said that. In fact, I remember she, you know, Father Joseph came to visit her when he was an engineer. He was the founder of the, the, the uh, of Franciscan uh, missionaries of the Turner Ward, and she told him to go and pray uh, the stations because the stations – you know, make you more compassionate. In fact, um, the st- it's, you know, you're going to, all over the world, people are going to be praying the stations uh, today and tomorrow. And that was actually Faustina's favorite prayer, um, because Jesus said to her also, make the stations of the cross. Um, and, and she said when she made the stations of the cross, her heart was moved. Um, and, she, and she said it, it really touched her because um, of the of mercy that passed through the heart of Jesus, through that open wound. Um, and, and, you know, there's another fan, um, uh, Jules and um, Chris, that is a, a fan of the Stations of the Cross, and you you know, you know who that is? No. no. St. John Paul II. Oh, sure. Oh. He, he prayed the Stations every Friday, wherever he was. If he, if he was not in a chapel, he still prayed them on Friday. In fact, that was my meeting with him sharing with him, I have my first book was The Way of the Cross for the Holy Souls in Purgatory. And there's a story about that, if you don't mind me sharing you. There's yeah, a true please. story. Go ahead. Yes, there, there was a nun on duty at a mother house, and she was doing a, a final check before retiring, you know, because she said things had to be perfect because they had a visiting bishop. And so when she went into the chapel, she heard a noise, and she, she didn't see anything in the choir stalls or the kneelers, but in the aisle she saw the bishop making the Way of the Cross going from station to station on his knees. Mm. And so the next day she shared this at recreation, not realizing that he would be St. John Paul II. So there you have this man of simple piety, suffering with the people of his time, knowing hardship, personal pain, and had long united and summed up everything in that quiet practice of going from station to station in many a church and in many a chapel. And, of course, the stations are extremely powerful for the souls in purgatory because of the indulgences that are attached to them. And we'll be saying them, you know, well, all, 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 you know, all during Lent, but especially uh, this, uh, these, these next two days. Can you share some of those indulgences, Susan? You can do, you can only, you can do two things with indulgences. You can apply it to yourself or you can apply it to the souls in purgatory or a deceased soul. You cannot apply it to a living person. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Maybe yes. I, I yes. haven't I've forgotten, no. but yeah, that's good to remember. 
Huh. Yeah, oh. that's in the book of indulgences. Um, and every book, but mostly every book I have, I, I put in the back of the book the requirements of gaining the indulgences because you can gain indulgences this whole, you know, this whole triduum are special. And you know what's coming, as you know, Catholic women of Iowa, what's coming is <laughs> the, a big indulgence uh, on Divine Mercy Sunday. And that's extraordinary because on when, if you, you know, when you go to confession and they've ex- actually extended going to confession, you know, um, anytime during Lent or even after Lent, I think uh, you can go even after Lent, uh, uh, like eight more days after Lent and receive communion. You don't even have to, you know, if you can't make it to Mass, it's receiving communion. Um, you gain, uh, you gain this, uh, this plenary indulgence. Well, you gain two things, actually. You gain a plenary indulgence that you can apply to yourself, to a soul, or the souls in purgatory. And But you also gain this extraordinary grace that, you know, um, indulgences remit the temporal punishment that's, that's left on your soul after you go to confession. The guilt is removed, but the stain is still there, and you have to work that stain off throughout life. But on Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, the stain is t- completely removed, so your soul is the way it was on the day you were baptized. And so you can... So you've got that promise from Jesus, but you also have the indulgence, and you can give that indulgence indulgence away, and that's what I do, because I've got the promise of him saying, go to confession, receive communion, and total total uh, temporary punishment is removed from your soul, and you still have the indulgence that you can you can give to uh, to someone uh, in your a uh, deceased soul or the souls in purgatory. I just want to remind I just want to remind our Catholic women of Iowa that and and others <laughs> that the Divine Mercy Novena starts tomorrow on Good Friday, and that's something. <laughs> And we're going to talk more about the Divine Mercy next Thursday on our show. But, Susan, I just am glad you brought that up because we wanted to let everybody know about that. It's that it, it starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it starts tomorrow on Friday. It's the novena. You know, um, Catholic women, the novena is, if you, you know, when it's, I have it in all my Faustina books. I have six books on Faustina. And I after, you know, you, you, you read six books, six years, six, you know, six years of looking at the diary. I, I discovered that it was the, the the novena actually is for the conversion of the world. Mm. Yes, that's what is. We called. need that he now. Wanted yes, her, he we... wanted her to say this. Yeah, he said, "I'm to begin." Um, she said, "I'm to begin it for the conversion of the whole world and for the recognition of divine mercy." He dictated intentions for each day, and she was to bring to his heart these different groups of souls each day and immerse them in the ocean of mercy. And these souls, he covers groups of them. He covers everybody. And you're right. It begins uh, tomorrow um, uh, on Good Friday. Yes, yes you, you can pray that with us. And you know what? Right now we're going to take a quick break, Susan. And when we come back, we're going to learn more about your book, Praying with Jesus and Faustina During Lent in Times of Suffering. We'll be back in a moment. You're listening to Catholic Women Now. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and John Leonetti in the Morning provided by Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company. They specialize in residential re-roofs like commercial jobs. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Bell Construction. Thank you, Golden Rule Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, for sponsoring my show, John Lee and Eddie in the Morning on Iowa Catholic Radio. Golden Rule, servicing Des Moines for over 15 years. They obey the rules to live by, especially the Golden Rule. Online at goldenrulephc.com. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now, provided in part by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security is a Catholic-owned family business supplying security systems, access control systems, video surveillance, fire alarm systems, and video doorbells. All alarm systems are monitored out of their monitoring center located in the state of Iowa. Permar Security, 515-244-5660, permarsecurity.com. Thank you, Big Red Q Quick Print, for underwriting the sports report. Family owned and operated since 1980, Big Red Q Quick Print is a full service print shop ready to help you with all your printing needs with speed and accuracy. Big Red Q Des Moines.com. Thank you, Dental Associates, for supporting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. Dental Associates, addressing your smile, needs, and dreams. 515-225-6742. Online at Des Moines-DentalAssociates.com. 
Thanks to Blessman International for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Every year, Blessman International leads teams of Central Iowans to share the compassionate heart of Christ with orphans and vulnerable children in South Africa. You can learn more and sign up for a trip at blessmaninternational.org. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio's broadcast of Dowling Catholic Sports and Activities is provided by Kemen. Kemen strives to sustainably transform the quality of life every day for 80% of the world with their products and services. Kemen, using science to transform the world. Online at Kemen.com. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio, where we're speaking with Susan Tassoni. And right before our break, we started talking about divine mercy in the novena. And before, Susan, I bring you back in here, I want to read something from St. Faustina's diary that is so appropriate and right now. what entry is it? It's diary number 965. Mm-hmm. Jesus looked at me and said, Souls perish in spite of my bitter passion. I am giving them the last hope of salvation, that is, the feast of my mercy. If they will not adore my mercy, they will perish for all eternity. Secretary of my Mm. mercy, write, tell souls about this great mercy of mine, because the awful day, the day of my justice, is near. And right now, today, that just, that seems so pertinent. Yes. (laughs) Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Susan, very powerful. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very powerful. So we're, we just want to remind listeners, tomorrow starts the Divine Mercy Novena on Good Friday. And it's very powerful. It's what Susan was just talking to us about yes. before the break. So, so Susan, you, part of the Divine Mercy Novena is you know, making a good confession. Can you give us some oh. helpful helps with making a good oh, confession? Yes. We, you know, I decided to do that in, in this book because, um, you know, Jesus and Faustina had some, some, some good advice about confession. And so in the back of the book, I include what he says and what she says. And he basically says, don't put off the sacrament of penance because it displeases him. Uh, you know, that, that is what the mercy is, is, is confession. You know, when we go to confession, we build peace in our lives. You know, um, you know M- Mother and Jacko would constantly tell her viewers, go to confession. He, and so in the book, um, I include... He shares the beauty of confession. He calls it the tribunal of mercy. He calls it the miracle of miracles. Um, Faustina depended on confession in order to live her vocation to spread the message of divine mercy. So confession was a lifeline for her. And girlfriends, I have to inject this if you don't mind, because you know we had unfortunately you know uh, two cases in our family just just last week. A cousin just died of COVID, and then a, a dear one of our six. Of, you know, all six aunts have, the sixth aunt died of COVID so quick. And so they called me from Iowa. I Somewhere in Iowa, I, I, I want to say, is there a place called Bloomfield? I'm just guessing. Yes, there I, is. Yes, there is. A rural place. My aunt was there, and my cousin called me because she worked in a healthcare facility. And, you know, they panicked because, you know, our family are all not lined up. They believe and they, you know, they pray, but are they lined up? Do they go to confession? Do they? No. But so I get the call. Help us find a priest. So I got on the phone for a couple, oh, it was a good hour, trying to find a local parish nearby this, this health care center. And I find a priest. Um, and and, and he, he, I said, can you get over there? I'm not sure where she's located. He goes, no. I'm like, what? He, he said, I have to call the diocese, and I have to get permission from the bishop to send somebody there, a special COVID priest, they call them. Oh, and he said, boy. I can't guarantee it. He couldn't guarantee it. Oh. I said, Father, just do the best you can. So I was off to Mass, and I, and I got the call on my way to Mass. He goes, Susan, we found a priest. He is on his way. Do you know, great women of Iowa, that that priest drove three hours. <gasps> I don't know where oh he was. He was somewhere. He was three hours away from Bloomfield. Holy he drove priest. three hours to get, to get there. He blesses the nurses. He gives her the last rites, the communion, the anointing of the sick the apostolic pardon, and she dies that evening. Oh, and so the, wow. this is the lesson. This is the lesson. Go to confession because you don't know if you can get a priest, if there's somebody going to be there. There's a shortage of priests. We're in this terrible pandemic. Stay, you know, So keep your soul in order. Mm. The church recommends monthly confession. Stay in the state of grace, but don't delay. This happened to me three times wow. the past couple months. Uh, with another cousin and then a friend, and I, I was just so it's a say. So that's what I'm just pointing out. Thank you for that powerful reminder, Susan. Yes. That that is so important. And at somebody's death side, we need to be saying their divine, the divine chaplet of mercy. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, it say that, and Jesus talks about that. 
I say along along the rosary, that chaplet is so extraordinarily powerful because he tells her, pray the chaplet for the dying, not the rosary. The angel had come to her, and she was praying the rosary for the dying, and he said, no, pray the chaplet, and not to worry because you. she had an experience where she was praying for a dying uncle, and you don't have to be present. You could be where I was in Chicago. She's out there in Iowa, mm-hmm. and I'm praying the chaplet for her. But he said it's the chaplet that um, where he stands between his father and the dying person, mm-hmm. not as a judge, but as the merciful savior mm-hmm. at the hour of death. And we should be we should be upping our game with the chaplet. And I do. I, I tend to wake up at three in the morning. Pray for the people that are dying every hour yes. of COVID. Yes. Pray the chaplet for them. They need that grace. They might just need something, and you're the one that can push them over the wall, ah, get them into yeah. purgatory, and get them home. So important, Susan. Thank you. Well, Susan, I'm afraid we're out of time. It always goes so fast with you. But thank you so much, we had Susan Tassoni, for being with us today and talking about your new book, Praying with Jesus and Faustina During Lent and Times of Suffering. Hey, Susan, we'll catch you later. Oh, happy Triduum and uh, uh, one plus, you know what? I can't even say it in Italian. Happy Easter <laughs> to you all. Have a blessed Holy Week. Thank you. God, God bless you. You too. Bye now. Thank Bye-bye. you. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now provided in part by Permar Security, a Catholic-owned family business providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security, 515-244-5660, online at permarsecurity.com. Why don't you stick with us and give us a prayer, Jules. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we just ask for your mercy Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we avail ourselves to your mercy. Humbly, we come before you. We kneel down before you, Lord. And we ask that we receive in our humbleness and in our in our desires to serve you, in our desires to be free, in our desires to confess everything and come clean and be so full of your mercy and receive it. And we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory and those who may be dying in this hour right now. Amen. Amen. In the, name in the, name the Father, Father, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is up at next at 9.30, so stay tuned. Also at 9.30 p.m., and if you get up early tomorrow, it'll be 5.30 a.m., just like every day. Please consider supporting Iowa Catholic Radio for by uh, maybe as matching fun with your employer. But also, this is a time of almsgiving. So uh-huh. if, I, if you want to put some of your alms toward Iowa Catholic Radio, we will continue to work to evangelize, teach, and defend our Catholic faith here. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris Magruder on the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. Iowa Catholic Radio. Catholic Women Now is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com. Catholic Women Now is also underwritten by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953.